Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Heading into Thursday today, we are seeing a lot of prices on the market that are down a lot. I want to talk about why this market is crashing. It has to do, I think, a little bit with that loading screen that we just saw and some other leaks that took place yesterday. And I think those leaks got people scared and they got people thinking about what is to come and everybody decided a sell and that pushed a lot of cards down i want to take a look at that the leaked cards that we have for the promo for tomorrow there's actually some really interesting and some really big names in the team of the tournament for the world cup that we're expecting to see tomorrow in this game i also want to talk about the market today because again with some of these world cup phenom cards being down in price some of them the lowest that they have ever been since coming into packs is it going to create an opportunity for us to actually buy some of these cards here pretty soon will they go back up as they're nearing their time in packs as they go out of packs or will they continue to stay low because people are scared for the upcoming promos we'll talk about that and more in today's video and talk about the path to glory upgrades that should be going live today on those still live cards that guess what they're down in price too so if you're excited for today's video hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go right over to twitter and look at some leaks and just kind of combine the leaks with the market crash because this is where it all started yesterday right these leaks we kind of knew this information a little bit right we knew those packs the stuff we talked about in yesterday's video the packs in the code we knew those had to do with the winter wildcard swaps program but foot sheriff officially leaked info about wildcard swaps 25 tokens rewards available for redemption until january 13th and there will be bonus tokens via store packs basically it sounds like winter wild cards of last year a two-week promo with the swaps program 25 tokens that 85 times 10 83 times 25 probably going to be some of the rewards that are inside of that token system and uh, also we would assume that since this promo and the swaps program is going to be super duper fast it's not spread out over four weeks like world cup swaps was there's probably going to be tokens in objectives in sbcs and in the store so not just in objectives but in sbcs as well now these tweets 16 hours ago 17 hours ago if you take a look at some of the prices that are dropping on this game it kind of coincides with when the price is starting dropping started to drop yesterday jude was 681 in the morning yesterday these tweets went live more tweets went live with leaks and these guys just kept falling and falling and falling 600,000 coins actually jude bellingham was just 570k about an hour ago and these cards seem to have hit a low and some of them are starting to actually bounce back but the first reason i want to talk about this panic selling on the market is happening is because of the i guess scaredness of people about winter wild cards remembering how insane that it was last year um, uh, Sheriff saying winter wild cards will bring, bring festive flair to your ultimate team squad, right? And then we had some more leaks after that. But firstly, I think that people hearing about winter wild cards and seeing the leaks being official for a wild card swaps program and for that promo to be coming not this week but next week, it just reminded people about how insane that promo was. And again, I, I the way that I said it just a bit ago, I think is the most true way that you can say it is people decided to sell. And I want to talk about leaks for a second because you can be like, right now you can think, man, late Nate, these leaks, man, they're just controlling the market more than ever. And it's the truth, right? This is the downside of leaks. You have market crashes that are just kind of spur of the moment because of leaked promo information that is coming in the future. People get scared for it, thinking that that's going to cause a crash. So they sell ahead of time, right? In the good old days before leaks, there was nothing like this in the good old days. It was just, okay, content is insane, content is sick, and then people panic sell. But that's the two-way street where we are on with leaks. People see insane leaks, they panic sell. Also, at the same time, more people make coins off of leaks now than they ever have before because you see a leak, like let's say the Vla like the Vlahovic dropped yesterday, right? This isn't really a great example because it didn't move a ton of the market, but a, a card like this gets leaked. What do people do? They go out, oh my goodness, Juventus links are going to rise because of this SBC leak, right? And so people make coins off of stuff like that. But this is what we're experiencing right now, the, the flip side, the other side of the coin, where people see leaks and they decide to start selling because the content is, oh, I'm good, oh, OMG, oh my goodness, it's insane. 
and they're going to sell because of that insane content that is to come. So that's the flip side. And that's, that's just the reality of the game. And it's not like we can get super duper mad about it and be frustrated with it because that's just the reality of the game that we are in now. That's how the market works. And that's why a lot of the stuff that we talk about on this channel about being as liquid as possible and, and not having too many coins wrapped up in your team at all times and being able to be um, in and out of cards quickly and, and work in the market and being smart with it. That's why it takes that extra level of effort on the market these days because we have all of these movements happening on the game. Now, back to the leaks because for this promo that's tomorrow, there's some big names that are coming in this squad and it all started with this card of Messi yesterday too being another part of the insane leaks that are going on in this game. Messi's getting a promo card in tomorrow's promo for Team of the Tournament. It seems like EA is going kind of all out with the cards tomorrow as well, especially the big names. But this stat prediction here, I think, is a little extra juiced. A plus two on Messi, yes, it would be sick. If they do dy this dynamic image, that would be pretty crazy. Uh, I think these team of the tournament cards are actually going to have some hype because what it's going to be, for, especially for this Messi card, it might be one of his last dynamic images um, in an Argentine kit, right? And also just representing the crazy run that Argentina had been on during the World Cup. And he's in that kit, right, from the World Cup. And there's some kind of, you know, some uh, correlation there. And there's kind of a memory there with that card. So that was a massive, massive leak. He's going to be in packs tomorrow on a, as a part of the promo team. Gakpo is one of those. I mean, this really isn't a big of, of a surprise, but he's going to be in the promo team. And then, of course, we have a couple more. Phil Foden is the third one that Foot Sheriff has leaked. People are like, how is this guy getting into the team of the tournament squad? I feel like there could be some other English players that get in instead of Phil Foden. But that is the card that EA have chosen to represent England, at least one of the cards as of right now. Phil Foden is getting into the promo side. Stats are a prediction. So those are the only leaked cards we have from Foot Sheriff right now. But what I want to take you to and show you is another Twitter account that was leaking a lot of stuff yesterday that seems to be pretty legit because Sheriff is leaking some of the same cards as him. Take this with a grain of salt. But this is also why you saw the market kind of dropping yesterday because some of the players in this team look pretty nice and it looked pretty cool as well. Gakpo, of course, that was confirmed by Sheriff. Um, Casemiro is getting a card. Stats predicted, uh, but a very usable Casemiro. That would be pretty dope. Brazil, of course, Manchester United, Lynx, that'd be a card that, if it's, especially if it has 79 or 80 pace, people would want to use that sort of card. And in these promos that we've had so far, uh, the cards that were not that usable because of maybe a pace problem or something along those lines, EA has made some of those guys really usable, right? Gareth Bale got a massive boost in the last promo. Danny Alves got a massive boost. Boost. Simon Kiar got a crazy boost. Giroud got the pace boost, right? So they're giving out some pretty nice boosts to cards that were not really that usable before. Casemiro maybe continues that trend this weekend. Bono for Morocco, a very deserved card as a team of the tournament item. Haven't had a special goalkeeper that many times recently in this game. So that'll be a nice uh, La Liga goalkeeper that I'm sure a lot of people would want to put in their La Liga sides. Otamendi, right? This is exactly like the same situation as Giroud or Simon Kiar, a guy that does not have a lot of pace getting a promo card. This is going to be great for this link right here with the Enzo Fernandez that a lot of people wanted to put together in their team. That's going to be basically a perfect link, if you will. The Benfica links, we've had... Um, the Gonzalo Ramos SPC recently. So a lot of nice Liga Nos links right there and Argentina links that people could put together with their promo cards that have dropped recently. That's a cool card. That's a GG. Teo Hernandez is going to be one of the France cards that has dropped. Another promo card for Teo Hernandez. He's one of those. It's like gotten in form this year, gotten the out of position card, and looks like he's getting yet another one. But this, I think, leapfrogs him to the best left back in the game maybe the best French left back up for debate as the total best left back in the game that's looking like a crazy card and then it gets even better Gavardiol look at the stats on that card 87 pace 86 defense 90 physical if he gets that big of a boost that is a nuts center back card and that will bring some hype to the Bundesliga for sure, even though he got dribbled by Messi there at the end of that game. I don't can't unsee that in my head. Anyways, uh, that's a sick card. Of course, people are talking about him all World Cup. Deserved. He had a great World Cup for sure. Now, this is where it gets even better. Mbappe is getting a card. And I mean, this is where it almost seems a little far-fetched. Messi, Mbappe, Teo Hernandez. There's some big names 
in this promo. Phil Foden as well. Like, especially with Messi and Mbappe in there. I mean, I said it earlier in the week. I was like, guys, watch out. They might put Mbappe, they might put Messi in this promo, and it looks like it might actually be coming true. So um, some of the panic selling on Mbappe special cards, like this one, uh, this Road to the World Cup Mbappe, which was just a promo card that was released like three weeks ago. Now we're getting another special Mbappe? That's pretty crazy. But hey, this is EA's last opportunity to sell those packs as the World Cup is coming to a close and try to kind of make some money off that hype, potentially, if you're EA, if you're thinking it through that way. So those are the promo card leaks that we have right now. Again, take it with a little bit of grain of salt because this account is a bit very big on TikTok, but people say he's pretty reliable. And some of the other leakers that get leak information that maybe don't post it on Twitter, from what I'm hearing through the grapevine, are saying that these leaks are pretty accurate. Again, Foot Sheriff posted the Gakpo as well as this guy did. So we'll take these with a grain of salt, but, I mean, they seem pretty legit as of now. And again, all of those leaks are really what is making this market drop down a lot right now and is what is making these prices continue to fall in the game. Now, I want to specifically talk about these Phenom cards, right? I lost some coins on a Phenom's Jude Bellingham yesterday because I saw his price at 620,000 coins around content. I was like, man, that is down a lot. This card is getting really, really low. I think it might get be getting too low so i bought one at 620k of course he was down to 570 he's now back up to uh, 590 about 600 000. but i really think i want to discuss something with these cards because these phenom cards remember on the weekend when we were just seeing the supply continually come on to the market with these cards and they were just continually getting packed it seemed and we were like wow these guys have a lot of supply the pack weight must be really high well yes the pack weight kind of seemed to be pretty solid with these cards but again, I want to remember something that we talked about on the weekend, that 37.5K pack that was in the store as a tradable pack. I think that that pack really brought a lot of extra supply to these uh, Phenoms cards. I really think that it did. And then EA has been running lightning rounds today again as well, but these are untradable. Um, as far as I'm knowing, they have not run any tradable lightning rounds. Some people might think that, Nate, oh my goodness, they're running lightning rounds on a Wednesday, which is pretty crazy, but these are untradable packs. Anytime you see the star packs, at least so far this year, they have been untradable in the store. So I don't think EA ran any tradable supply of lightning rounds unless I missed it. That would definitely contribute to the market crash as well if that was happening, but I really feel like it was that extra supply for these Phenoms cards specifically that maybe hurt their prices a little bit extra more because they just had so much supply on the weekend that when people decided to sell them, right, a lot of people invested in these cards earlier in the week. On Monday, on Sunday, people were looking to buy these Phenoms cards because they thought it was going to be the cheapest time to buy them. They went up into Tuesday, and now they are back down again. As I look at this promo team, I still think there's enough big names and enough really sizable upgrades in this promo team for at least a couple of these guys to rise out of packs, even with the current state of the market. But I don't think your rises are going to be that large i don't think your your rises are going to be that crazy and i think it's going to be maybe on some of the more rare cards just because they're going to be able to fight through that supply and they're still going to have demand guys like kamavinga leao bellingham militao and hakimi maybe kunde are cards that i kind of like you know maybe the lissander martinez he could rise up a decent amount as well if we are going to get a um, Casemiro special card and just for the links that he has and the Argentine hype that he has right now. I mean, he was 180,000 coins on Tuesday. Now he's back down to literally his lowest price um, at 145K. So I am kind of a fan of that card. Even Ganduzi could rise up a little bit. I still have faith in this team, but again, you just have to remember, right? The premise of why everything dropped on the market yesterday is because of the leaks, right? And if people were panic selling yesterday, especially these Phenoms cards, because of the leaks, what's going to make those people turn around today and want to go out and invest in these cards, right? There may be some people today that want to invest. I mean, today we're going to have tradable supply, right? We're going to have the rewards that are, of course, dropped. People take tradable rewards every week with division rivals, hoping to pack something and make some coins off of it. So you'll have a little bit of supply probably hit the market for some of these cards. Uh, but I also think that you'll have marquee matchup supply today. I don't know what is going to be in marquee matchups because they've been doing the World Cup marquee matchups recently. And of course, there's only one game happening this weekend. So I don't know if EA is going to like throw some other ones in there or if they're just going to make four SBCs around the Argentina France World Cup final that is upcoming on Sunday. So watch out for that. But I would imagine we have marquee matchups today. 
and that's going to bring some tradable supply to the market so today will be like the last supply that we will have for some of these phenoms cards and i do think it could create an opportunity to invest in a couple of them or more so what i would look for it as is if there's any of these that you just want to buy for your team um if there's any more price drops today if there's any more panic selling if there's any more just kind of dumping of these cards on the market if you will that might create a really decent scenario if you want to pick one up for your team and you're like okay nate if lissandro martinez goes from 140,000 coins like he is right now let's say he goes down to like 120k in, a, in two weeks time with winter wild cards on the horizon with a lot more content upcoming a lot of hype content upcoming if you're not worried about losing 20k on a card like this then then that's the then you want to get in your team right away then that's the sort of thing you might have to face but you know that's kind of the situation that we could be in with some of these Phenoms cards. So I'm going to probably stay decently liquid just because, again, I've gotten myself into trouble for losing coins, trying to trade and flip with cards. Like I'm trying to flip this Messi right now. I bought him for 1.23. This is the Bellingham I'm trying to sell that I bought at 620. Um, you know, I'm just trying to kind of get the coins out of it because I think I can use those coins to make some quick flips on some rare cards, but you got to be careful with it as well. And sometimes and this is something that I have trouble learning is sometimes it's just better to sit back and to not buy cards and to not do anything while the market is going down. Because sometimes when you think a card is really low, it actually is going to continue to fall further. And that's what happened with Path to Glories. And I want to talk about Path to Glory. So again, I would just say, watch the Phenoms cards today. If it's something that you feel really strongly about and you think they're going to keep going up out of packs, I mean, I understand that for sure. But again, I'm just knowing that the premise right now on the market is people are scared because of the upcoming content with the promos. I'm going to be a bit more careful with these cards. Maybe it's just a quick flip for me for a couple of those. Um, and I'm going to steer clear of really investing and sitting in those cards for too long. So that's my thought there. Now, Path to Glories, there was some crazy, crazy panic selling. And you see these prices right now. And Kunku was 3.7, 3.8 mil after France won the game yesterday. Right now, he is 3.7 one i mean griezmann was 1.9 million coins and he was panic sold all the way down to 1.4 yes he was 1.4 million coins he is now whoops didn't uh, put the correct search filter on there griezmann is now one point i think it's six he's all the way back up to 1.6 so if you timed the fluctuations correctly you're gonna make some crazy coins um but as you can see these cards are moving around like crazy with hours of panic selling. Again, with people being scared of their dropping, that just kind of unleashes the floodgates and people are like, oh my goodness, these cards are dropping. So I'm going to sell, sell, sell and undercut and undercut. And that panic selling always reaches a low point. And these cards bounce back from that just because they're still alive. They're rare and they're getting upgrades today. This Griezmann is going to go to a five star, five star card at some point today um, on the 15th of december that was another date that ea outlined on their website was going to be a day where they would upgrade the cards that are headed to the final for the world cup alejandro gomez is another one yesterday i was telling you guys like all oh, week long i was like hey sell this guy extinct at 1.4 he does not deserve to be 1.4 million coins i think he is you know um overpriced and i still believe that even though today he is going to get his upgrade for uh, the skill moves, he's going to go to a five-star, five-star card. He's already got the weak foot. Uh, I, I still think that that 1.4 sell price was going to be the highest that he got, right? Again, the premise of the, this panic selling is people are scared of what is to come. So if you sold those guys earlier on, GG's. Um, of course, I don't expect these guys to go up that much, even with their still having one game left to play. We are so near the end of this thing where a lot of the hype for these cards is just built in to them getting more and, and further upgrades. And we're, we're at the end, right? I mean, this Romero is going to be a five-star, five-star center back today, which is kind of cool and fun, but kind of crazy as well that he's still 300,000 coins when you have a card like Konate Road to the Knockouts, who is just as good as that card um, that was out like a month before Romero was. And, you know, it's, it's no longer live. And that, and that card's like 200K or the Lissandro that we have that is, you know, not that far off of Romero with some better stats in other areas, more position changes, and is like half of the price less than half so that's kind of the issue that i have with some of the path to glories and a lot of the market in general that is down again I, like i just sold this drew bellingham here for six hundred thousand coins you know this might go back to like 630 over the weekend or 650 even who knows right but i'm happy taking the cash here because um i want to get my coins back liquid so that i can go into some cards 
and start to flip some cards when I see those hours of panic selling and when I see those fluctuations that I know I can time. I would have loved to buy. Um, again, I think if we take a look at the flipping graph here, I believe Griezmann, like we said, was 1.4 mil and Papu Gomez was 960. And what is he right now? 1.1, right? There was a incredible opportunity. I just missed it because I was not on the game. Uh, I was busy, right? Griezmann was 1.33. He was 1.3 lows. I bet if we take a, a look at the sales history here, uh, Griezmann was 1.25, 1.28. Like, look how low he was, man. And now he is back up to 1.6 million coins. If you time the fluctuations right, you can make huge amounts of coins, but it's all about the timing. I wish I would have been on the market and, and had some coins liquid at the time, but I didn't. Uh, and those are just kind of the fluctuations that you see, and those are the fluctuations that you can trade in and out of. But for most, I would say be careful with stuff on the market right now. There might be a slight rise on some cards today because it is a rewards day. People like to go out to the market and buy cards after they get tradable coins heading into the club via rewards. So there could be a few cards that move up a little bit today, but I wouldn't expect it to be a day where a lot of people go out and spam buy. Now, if people decide that they want to go out and invest in today uh, because they thought the cards were way too cheap, then, then that's something that we can't obviously control. And that's something that other people control. But it seems kind of silly for people to panic sell yesterday, but then feel like they have to go and buy today. So I don't expect that to happen on too large of a scale. Um, but I mean, we still were able to make some coins yesterday. These Carvajals were ones that I had bought for less than 100k, so some small profits there. And then hopefully this Messi can get a moment of rarity and pop back up a bit. Of course, I was trying to trade with his panic sell um, after the new Messi card was leaked, but we'll just have to see what goes on there. Now, Thursday content today, probably an updated loading screen. Also, some of you guys mentioned yesterday in the stream, you're like, Nate, this card design isn't already in the game. Technically, no, it's not. It's like the same card design as like Ake and those World Cup stars that are available via swaps. It looks almost the same. It's like EA just switched the colors around between the red and the green. Uh, those are the live, or not live, those are the team of the tournament cards that'll be in PAX Friday, of course. Not those swaps versions, but pretty interesting. And then today with marquee matchups, I'd expect that as well. I don't know if we're going to get a player SBC today. I don't know if EA would drop anything else crazy, uh, but the 78 plus player pick is expiring today. Uh, so that's going away if you wanted to build any last minute one of those. By the way, really quick, speaking of the Vlahovic, this is a WSBC, in my opinion, in, in terms of fun, right? It's cheap. It's a nice upgrade. He goes from 3-3 three, three to 4-4, four, four, high medium work rates, a really big boost in dribbling, plus 8 dribbling from his inform. 91 reactions is pretty good. 93 finishing, attack positioning, 93 strength. He is uh, explosive. Sorry, he is controlled or lengthy. He has a finesse shot trait. Um, and I think that's just a cool card. GG's to EA for a nice boost there. If that is something you want to stash away and craft up for your Serie A squad, I think that's a W in my opinion. So keep an eye on that. Vlahovic has even got the shush that they make him uh, on the card too. So that's kind of a cool card. SBC fodder, we got to watch this drop. This needs to keep going down a little bit more. 87s are at 22K. They're dropping 88s or 28. With rewards today, hopefully these guys go down a little bit more. And then over the weekend, we have another opportunity to invest right that's the usual scenario i think it'd be a great opportunity to do so again this weekend we will see what it looks like and what these fodder prices look like but hopefully those drop during the weekend and if you still have any of that fodder maybe today there's a slight kickback as people get their rewards and they want to go do uh I, I think that the hero sbc is still available for a short uh, amount of time i think it expires today yeah it expires today at content so Maybe your last slight bounce back in price on the fodder today. Get it out uh, before content, and then we'll look to buy that stuff again on the weekend. So that's kind of, um, I guess, a rundown and a lowdown of what is going on with the market at the moment. So be careful with your coins. Again, this market feels a little scared, a little timid because of the loading screen leaks and because of the cards that are upcoming for this promo starting tomorrow and the stuff happening next week. Watch the loading screen today. Watch the leaks today. There should be some more news about what is coming soon. And I've talked for too long. That's the end of the video for me. So if you're excited for the content today and if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Photo Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.